This is the knitted rip stitch. It's stretchy and it goes on most cuffs, on shirts, or other projects. This is the crocheted rip stitch. Here is another example of it. It's also stretchy. The most common knitted rip stitch is the 2x2 two two rip stitch. For crocheted rip stitch, you can do a half double crochet, which is what this looks like. You can do a single crochet, which is what this looks like. As you can see, both sides are stretchy. The difference between the knitted rip stitch and the crocheted rip stitch is when you do a knitted rip stitch, you can see that each rib is even. With a crocheted rip stitch, you can see that the top and the valley, the top starts higher and then it goes down lower into the valley on an angle like that. So if we show it here, you may be able to see it at the top here and it goes down into the valley like that so it's on an angle as opposed to directly flat. And you can see it with more definition here. It looks more like scales when you do the single crochet rib stitch. This is how you do the rib stitch when you knit. Here's a sample of a two by two rib stitch. So a two by two rib stitch means two knits, two purls, two knits, two purls. So when you see two knits, you do two knits on top of that. And when you see two purls, you do two purls on top of that. And you repeat two knits and two purls. Here is an example of a double crochet rib stitch. We work it in the flat. So to start your crochet rib stitch, turn your work to begin a new row and we're gonna chain three. We're chaining three because we're doing a double crochet rib stitch. You chain two if you're doing a half double crochet, chain one single crochet rib stitch, and chain four if you're doing a treble crochet rib stitch. So here's my chain three. So to begin your row, you skip the first stitch that this chain three comes out of because this chain three acts as our first double crochet. Now we are going to work into the next stitch. So each stitch has two loops, the front loop and the back loop. Into the back loop, the one that's furthest away from you, you do your double crochet. And the next one, double crochet into the back loop. And that's what we're going to do our rib stitch. Just do your stitches into the back loop of each stitch all the way across until you get to the end. And when you get to the end, just remember that your third chain of chain three, counting from the bottom, one, two, three, acts as our last stitch for this round. So we make sure that we do a double crochet into there. The third chain of chain three and that will be our last stitch then you turn your work and you begin your next row so there you have it the difference between a crocheted rib stitch and a knitted rib stitch so thank you for watching please check out my other videos on my channel i have more tutorials for you such as the purple sock slipper and that pink hat